Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in the back alleys of Dubrovnik, Croatia for the don'ts of visiting Dubrovnik. Now the first don't I have for you is don't expect to have very much time away from lots of other people because there's so many tourists that come here, especially when the cruise ships are in from like nine to five, that it's just insane. That's why I'm on these back alleys here filming on Dubrovnik because everywhere else you go, there's just hordes and hordes and hordes and hordes and hordes and hordes of tourists. So don't expect to have any free time or free space or to find your own little back alleys because it's tough to do, okay? So that's the first don't I have. The second don't I have for you is don't forget to bring good walking shoes when you are here the pavement here is extremely slick when it gets wet even i mean especially if you're on stradum like the the main pedestrian street in the middle man i walked i, I put my foot in the little like <laughs> side ditch thing and my foot got a little wet and i almost wiped out when it gets wet here it can be extremely slick and extremely dangerous so do be careful also i recommend having good walking shoes especially when you're going to walk the walls because you have to walk the walls when you're here the views are fantastic but you want to have good shoes also if you don't have good, like if you have problems with your knees or ankles or stuff like that, I would be careful with doing the wall walk because there's lots of uneven steps and stuff like that. So don't forget some good walking shoes and hike, not hiking shoes, but good walking shoes uh, for walking around town because it can get pretty slick when it's wet. And even when it's not wet, you want to have some good stability. Now our third don't is for you cruise ship people. I'm a cruise ship person here as well. It's okay. The third don't is don't think you can get by on euros alone. Look, Kuna is the currency in Croatia and here in Dubrovnik, there's, I mean, a lot of places will take euros and a lot of places take credit cards. So it's not really a big issue. However, if you're going to take the bus, like if you want to take the bus back from the center to the cruise terminal, or if you want to walk on the walls, they only take Kuna. Okay. So you're going to need to get some money here. There is some exchange houses and there's ATMs, so you can do that. It's not a real big problem, but you do need to have some Kuna. It's not, it's not just like, oh, they'll take euros because we go through there. I know in the Caribbean, you can pay with US dollars pretty much anywhere. Nobody cares. Here, there will be a few places they're like, nope, Kuna only, thank you. So do watch out for that. So get a few extra Kuna there from the ATM. Now, my next don't for you is if you're going to go out to the island of Little Kroom, if you're going to head out there, if it's a really, really windy day and, and like choppy seas, maybe wait for another day because it can be a bit <clears throat> tummy troubling when you're going out there. So if there is bad weather and you wanted to go to like the beach over there and things like that, just realize there's there's beaches here near the city you can go to, which are easy to get to and they're nice. Um, but I will say, don't forget to bring some like water socks or like water shoes because there's a lot of stones on the beach here so that can be a bit uncomfortable so I recommend you know don't just go to the beach maybe rent one of the chairs and stuff like that so you're a bit more comfortable now my next don't for you is don't skip going to the museums and the churches when you are here a lot of people I've seen when I've been going around you just wander the city I mean it is gorgeous to see with the architecture outside and things like that get the Dubrovnik card go into the little museums like the Maritime Museum and stuff like that you know go into the you know the the Franciscan Monastery is really cool to check out is beautiful inside with the courtyard and stuff like that and then you go to the franciscan Mon or the franciscan monastery is really cool when you go in there and the dominican monastery they're on two opposite sides of the old town really nice to go in and see go inside the cathedral there's a lot of nice things because the thing is i've seen a lot of tourists they just wander around sit down and drink and eat and don't worry don't worry you'll eat and drink very well here okay but make sure you do take the time to visit some of the sites you know yes don't forget to walk the walls and stuff like that but just make sure you go out and check out some of these little tiny museums and the and the churches here because they are really beautiful another thing kind of going back to walking around the town don't be scared to go hiking up those side streets because you walk down the main the main street you know stratum or, or Prasa, however you want to they call it a couple different things you'll see you know stairways going up okay and you're thinking man that's a lot of steps well the farther you get away from that main street there the cheaper the restaurants get and they're, they're they're really good here too so you go up higher you can save money and get a great meal and like one side if you go to the side away from the water that seems to have a lot of restaurants if you come to the side that's more towards the water going up the hills that seems to have more apartments and hotel kind of things out there so so that's nice another thing is don't worry about your hotel accommodations so much i mean in high season june july august yes you should but outside of that you know, there's so many people that rent out rooms and stuff. You shouldn't have a problem with finding something even a few days before or a week before. Just in high season, you might want to check out for that. And my last don't is the cruise ship people. 
Don't think your cruise ship is going to wait for you. Okay, if your cruise says be back by six, you should be back by like 5.30 so you can check in um, because you'll see videos online of people going, no, my ship is left. So make sure you do get back from that. So those are just a few don'ts for a Dubrovnik. If you want to have my five love and hates, we've got that of Dubrovnik, five love and hates of Croatia, how to tip in Croatia, all kinds of great stuff on our website at waltersworld.com. And if you like travel videos like this, we put out one every Wednesday and Saturday from different places around the world. And we do appreciate those subscriptions. So if you click that every Wednesday and Saturday, you'll see my beautiful face. Okay, well, my nice, beautiful face, I'll just be talking. Maybe that's helpful. <laughs> anyway, bye from Dubrovnik. Yeah.